I wanted to touch on uh, first home buyers. Yep. So I guess what what you know it's a bit of a daunting task. Yep. First home buyer, what do, what do I do? Where do I start? Yeah. There's yeah. all this like information that it's like information overload. Do I do it myself? Do I engage with industry expert? Yeah. Yep. Um, you deal with so many first home buyers. Yeah. What what advice do you I guess have for them? Yeah. Well, I guess the first. Uh, bit of advice to give is all around mindset. So the first thing you've got to do is take action. I know it's a bit of a real estate cliche to say, you know, you've got to do something, but it's, it's kind of true. And the uh, difference between the people who really succeed in real estate and those that, that maybe get left behind is um, are the people who pull the trigger. Yep. Um, and there's what we call the procrastination tax as well. Like there's, there's a, there's a, there's a cost in, in waiting it out because you're never going to find, well, waiting it out to find the perfect deal is really, um, not always to your advantage. So don't wait for the perfect deal yeah. um, and, and, and start. The other thing I'd say is unless you're using a buyer's agent, um, it's, it's okay to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't let uh, making a mistake to, uh, you know, turn you off because real estate's a very forgiving asset. Yeah. Uh, so, so go for it. I guess if you're investing in Sydney, I'd give you sort of three tips as a general rule for how to buy well. Uh, the first thing is try to stick to 20 kilometers from the CBD. Yep. It's a nice round number, but, it, but generally they're the most stable suburbs that, that perform the best. Uh, two, I'd say uh, buy walking distance to a train station, because if we're going to be a city with a population of 10 million people in 20 years time, yep. you're not going to be able to drive anywhere. Yep. So train stations are valuable. Yeah. The, the third thing I'd say is uh, avoid high rise and stick to low rise and boutique. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're kind of, you won't go wrong if you do that sort of thing. And I guess why, what's the philosophy around high rise? You're yeah. sticking to low rise, why do you, is it just strata fees are higher and I guess maintenance, I don't know, where, where does that no, come from? No, it's, it's more that you know, the economics of buying property is all about trying to get as much land as you can. Yeah, sure. So the yeah. lower rise, uh, you're, you're, you know, when you buy a unit, you are getting land, you're just getting an allocation of land. Yep. So if you buy something low rise, you're getting um, more land uh, and, um, and that's, that's the name of the game when it comes to real estate. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's kind of like instead of buying an apartment that's got 600 other apartments yeah. in it, it's better to go for something that's got four to, I don't know, yeah. 10, 20, whatever that yeah, low yeah, that's kind right. of number would, would be. Keep it boutique, keep it low rise. Um, there, there are several practical reasons why that's valuable too, because you have unworkable strata meetings when you've got 600 people in a, yeah. in a, in a block. But, um, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is just to make sure that you're, you're getting land that is a desirable place to live, that it doesn't turn into a ghetto once it starts to age and look a bit tired, so. Yeah, um, a little bit more about first home mm. buyers and I guess events and seminars yep. that you actually run. So you run quite a number of seminars and events. Are they free actually? They are, yeah. We've got a, I've got a meetup group called the Property Fanatics. Yep. And we meet up uh, about once a quarter. Okay. We did something uh, about two months ago. That was a seminar targeting first home buyers. And we sort of talked about, we talked a lot about like when is the right time to buy. And I, I was sort of showing um, charts around how to know if real estate's expensive. Because real estate's always expensive. But yeah. how do you know when it's relatively expensive? Mm. Um, so that we did that. And the next event we've got coming up is in November and that's gonna be drinks. Gotcha. So I just sign up to the probably fanatics, or yeah. is this going to be on on meetup? Turn up, it have will a couple be, of yep. drinks. You do a bit of a presentation, spot on, and then we'll kind of go from there. Oh yeah, the next one will just be social. Can you invite me? Absolutely, you're in. <laughs>